welcome language learners from all around the globe to Listen Up, the podcast that takes you on a captivating voyage through the English language. Whether you've just started your journey or have been navigating the intricacies of English for some time, this podcast is designed to be your trusty compass, guiding you towards fluency and unlocking the wonders of English. I'm your host, Karen, a passionate traveller and an experienced teacher of English as a second language. Join me as we embark on an exciting expedition filled with British history read by a native speaker. Together, we'll conquer the challenges and celebrate the victories of learning English as a foreign language. Each episode of Listen Up will immerse you in a variety of topics from aspects of British culture, history and literature. We'll explore useful vocabulary that will empower you to communicate confidently in English. If you want to read along with the podcast, head to my website www.onepawinthesand.com slash ESL. The link is in the description. But this podcast isn't just about learning English in isolation. It's about building a community of language learners, supporting one another and fostering a love of the English language. I encourage you to engage with us through my Patreon page where you can connect with fellow learners, ask questions and share your own language journey. So whether you're sipping tea in Tokyo, walking the streets in Sao Paulo or studying in a bustling cafe in Berlin, Listen Up is here to accompany you on your quest for English fluency. Join me as we embark on this transformative expedition where language becomes an adventure and your dreams of effective communication become a reality. Today's episode is called First Public Bathroom. In a busy part of London in the 1800s, something important happened on this day, 14th of August, 1852. It changed how cities are built and how people stay healthy. On this special day, they opened the very first public bathroom in London's Fleet Street. This was a big deal because it started a big change in how cities plan to be clean and healthy places. In the 1800s, lots of people were moving to London. This made the city really crowded and it was hard to keep it clean. There weren't good bathrooms for everyone to use. So the streets were dirty and people felt uncomfortable. They needed a solution and that's why they decided to build a public bathroom. A smart engineer named George Jennings made this happen. He built a fancy bathroom on Fleet Street with modern pipes and a nice design. This bathroom was for both men and women and its location was perfect. It showed that cities could plan better for their people. Some people liked this new bathroom idea while others didn't. Some thought it was good for hygiene and health, but others thought it was improper. Even though not everyone agreed, this new bathroom changed how people thought about public bathrooms and set an example for the future. This first public bathroom led to more bathrooms like it in London and other places. With time, public bathrooms became very important in cities, showing that people cared about everyone's well-being. Today, we still remember the first public bathroom on Fleet Street. It teaches us that solving problems with new ideas can make cities better. Public bathrooms are now a normal part of cities, and they show that cities care about the health and happiness of everyone. 
The start of Fleet Street's bathroom still influences how cities grow and change, reminding us that creative ideas can make our cities great. And that wraps up another episode of Listen Up. I hope you enjoyed learning about my topic today and practicing your English. Remember, the exploration doesn't have to end here. If you have any lingering questions or want to continue the conversation, I've got some great opportunities for you. First off, I offer private lessons for those of you eager to expand your knowledge further, whether it's practicing today's subject or exploring other topics. I'm here to guide you on your English journey. Reach out to me through my website or social media platforms. And let's embark on a personalized learning experience together. I have been involved with training people for more than 10 years. I've been teaching English as a second language for over a year, in which time I have taught over 500 students, many of whom are regulars. But wait, there's more. If you're a devoted fan of Listen Up and want to show your support, consider joining our Patreon community. Your contribution directly helps us bring you more episodes and maintain the quality of our show. Your support truly means the world to me and we couldn't continue this podcast without you. So whether you choose private lessons or Patreon or both, I look forward to staying connected and exploring the fascinating realms of English as a second language together. Thank you once again for joining us on Listen Up. Until next time, keep practicing. Thank you.